recent press reports about your investments in the Australian biotech company Innate Immunotherapeutics raises some serious questions about your judgment, and I want to review the facts. You purchased stock in Innate Immunotherapeutics, a company working to develop new drugs on four separate occasions between January 2015 and August 2016. You made the decision to purchase that stock, not a broker, yes or no? That, that was a decision that I made, yes. You were offered an opportunity to purchase stock at a lower price than was available to the general public, yes or no? Uh, the initial purchase in January of 2015 was at the uh, market price. Uh, the secondary purchase in, in uh, June through August, September of 2016 uh, was at a price that was available to individuals who were participating in a private placement offering. That was lower than was available to the general public, correct? I don't know that it was. It was, it was the same price that, we, that everybody paid for the private placement offering. Well, Congressman Chris Collins, who sits on President-elect Trump's transition team, is both an investor and a board member of the company. He was repeated, uh, reportedly overheard just last week off the House floor bragging about how he had made people millionaires from a stock tip. Congressman Price, in our meeting, you informed me that you made these purchases based on conversations with Representative Collins. Is that correct? No. What I, what well, I, that is what you said to me in my office. What, what I believe I said to you was that I learned of the company from Congressman Collins. Uh, what I recall our conversation was that you had a conversation with Collins and then decided to purchase the stock. No, that's that, not correct. Well, that is what I remember you hearing it say in my office. Uh, in that conversation, did Representative Collins tell you anything that be, could be considered, quote, a stock tip, yes or no? I don't believe so, no. Uh, well, if, if you're telling me he gave you inf information about a company, you were offered shares in the company at prices not available to the public. You bought those shares. Is that not a stock tip? Well, that's not what happened. What happened was that he mentioned, he, he talked about the company and the work that they were doing in trying to solve the challenge of progressive secondary multiple sclerosis, which is a very debilitating disease and one that I I'm well aware had that, the opportunity to treat patients when I was in practice. I'm, a, I'm aware I studied that. the company for a period of time and, uh, and felt that it uh, had some significant merit and promise. Uh, and purchase the uh, the initial shares on the stock exchange Congressman itself. Congressman Price, I have very limited time. Uh, let me go on. Your purchases occurred while the 21st Century Cures Act, which had several provisions could, that could dr impact drug developers like innate immunotherapeutics, was being negotiated. And again, just days before you were notified to prepare for a final vote on the bill. Congressman, do you believe it is appropriate for a senior member of Congress actively involved in policymaking in the health sector to repeatedly personally invest in a drug company that could benefit from those actions, yes or no? Well, that's not what happened. Well, let me just say that I believe it's inappropriate and we need answers to this regarding whether you and Congressman Collins, Collins used your access to non-public information when you bought prices uh, bought at prices that were unavailable to the public. And I had no access to non-public information. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.